They are a special tool in Namesworks that help us to color elements and even groups of them. And let's open the file. Our materials. Material, six folder, example. And this one. Example NWF file. Open it. And now let's go to the home. And we have a special tool to color elements. This one. Home panel. Appearance Profiler and we can activate it and in first one how to select elements first one is by property category and property ok and let's try to do it with balls let's close it and let's take this element this wall ok this wall and in properties we have the item category and the name for example this name Exterior wall request panel. And let's copy this value. Press right button and now copy value. OK. And let's back to the appearance. Profiler. Category. Category of property. Item. And property. Name. And here we can paste the name one, paste one. And next step, we should uh, choose a color. Let's choose the yellow one. Okay. And next one, if you need, you can change the transparency, but I don't need, and then add it. And now let's run it. And now we have all elements with this color, like this one. But more productive way, Use it with the sets. Let's um, back it. Reset appearances. And let's do the same thing with sets. In this file, I have a lot of search sets, like this one, the windows, the settings, the walls, corridors, and other things. Let's go to appearance profile and delete all. Yeah, we're sure. And let's go by sets. And if you need, you can refresh. It's just made new sets. But now let's take the first one, the window one. Okay, the window will be like this one. Let's edit and then external walls. This one, for example, edit and external windows. In the next floor will be like this one. And external walls and this floor will be like this one. Okay, I think the idea is pretty understandable. You can have your system how to color the elements in, in the model, and then you can add all the mapping from color and set, and then run all of them. So run them, and now have colored all the elements using the sets and using scholars. But more productive thing that like you can save this scene, save the system of the mapping from the from the name of the search set and the color and save it. You can save it with a special format like date DAT and then in other files you can load it and have all these settings and and run it in the next model. And so it's a pretty productive way to color all elements as you need and as your client need to have your model more understandable.